Welcome to the Greens, where there are hot fly traps in your area. I'm Rob Peters, and we have some very exciting news today, so let's go! Folks, there has been a series of attacks in the Greens recently. What I can only describe as, I guess, a drive-by shooting. However, seeing as there is no traffic, as the roads are completely infested in vines, oh, by the way, there is no traffic today, or all week, he had to use a bicycle. And seeing as we have outlawed all firearms in the greens years ago, he was hitting people with bananas being fired from a slingshot. Nobody knows why he is doing this, However, you need to be careful, or else you might be the next victim of this attack. More info on this story as it develops. Let's have a look at the community calendar. On Monday, the two people that have moved into the Greens six weeks ago will be fist fighting in the Arby's parking lot. Tickets will be name your own price starting at $1. On Tuesday, Nothing will be happening. And I don't mean nothing interesting. By that, I mean genuinely nothing will be happening. We will all be put in stasis until Wednesday. Speaking of Wednesday, on Wednesday, the old abandoned building on the outskirts of the Greens is going to be demolished. The reason that we haven't demolished it yet is because vines have infested the entire place. However, we have found a way to safely relocate the vines to a different location, and now that building is going down. So, if you have any unfinished business in that building, then please go ahead. On Thursday, run. Run as fast as you can. It is great exercise. I highly recommend it. On Friday, there will be horses. Do not go up to the horses. Do not look at the horses. The horses cannot hurt you as long as you don't go up to the horses. And on Saturday, the entire city will be placed into the town wiggler. Don't ask me what it is, I have no idea. Folks, I don't often report personal news, but there is this one person that for some reason seems to think that their bird is prettier than Prometheus. And, frankly, you, sir, are wrong. You haven't seen Prometheus, so you don't know how pretty he truly is. I would show a picture, but... We're on the radio, so that's... That idea's out. Oh, uh, hold on. Station management's getting pretty upset that I'm sharing personal news instead of normal news. I... Yep, I'll get right back to it. Sorry, uh, on to actual news. The man that has been hitting people with bananas fired from a slingshot is still running rampant. At this point, we have a warrant for his arrest. And if anyone sees this man, then please let us know. We have no idea what he looks like. Because no one's actually seen him before they get hit in the face with another banana. It is absolute chaos out there. The city council which is comprised of 12 identical-looking men and a single Venus fly trapped, all of whom are named Cedric, has asked me to specifically say that this man is dangerous, and you need to be careful around him, even if you don't actually know what he looks like. Again, just look for bananas in his pocket, slingshot in his hand, maybe a bike, do what you can to be careful around this guy, and also get him arrested. It's... We're trying to figure everything out all at once here, so it might be a bit confusing. In fact, I have one of these Cedrics in my recording studio right now, and I will give him an interview on what you can expect to find about this man. So... <coughs> 
So, is there any notable characteristics that we can find on this man? Right? Uh, is there any special procedure about how we should approach him? Okay. One more question. Whose casserole is that? Oh. Well. Uh. Oh, uh, he. He just left. Just kind of disappeared. Uh. You heard it here, folks. Be very careful around this man. We don't know what he's planning. More info about this story as it develops. Now, let's have a look at traffic. As per usual, traffic... Huh? Oh, uh... <laughs> I must have forgotten. Turns out, I already did traffic. So... Uh... Guess I'm not doing that. Which means next up is... Oh, uh, it's sports. <laughs> Good thing I have a backup with me. Hang on, uh, I'm gonna make a quick call. Hmm? It's Rob. Yeah, you think he could come to the studio real quick? Yeah, it's the sports section. You know I'm horrible at knowing anything about sports, I'm hoping that you could explain it instead. Yep. Alright, thanks. Bye. He said he'd be here as soon as possible, so... Ah. And here he is! He <laughs> surprised me there. So I have here the coach of the football team, who is going to be explaining the latest sports news to us. Go ahead. What was I doing? I think I was talking about sports. Brought someone in to say something, but... Eh, I forgot about it. It must not have been important. Did I already do the sports section? Everyone's just looking around confused. I'll take that as a guess. This has been sports. Unless I already said that. In which case, I'm gonna look like a fool. And now, for our weekly forecast. On Monday... I forgot the weekly forecast. You know what? I'll just make it up as I go along. On Monday, it will be a very nice... 42 degrees. And... Depending on whether it's Fahrenheit or Celsius, somebody tells me it will be very different reactions. On Tuesday, the sky will turn purple and there will be... That's it. The sky will turn purple. That's it. On Wednesday... Wednesday is classified. You don't... Uh, we're not letting you know about Wednesday. On Thursday, frogs will fall from the sky and be perfectly fine. Fun fact, frogs can survive terminal velocity. I sure hope that is right. Is it? The others have no idea. On Friday, of course, rose petals will be falling from the sky, as is tradition. And on Saturday, the sun will explode. 
So make sure you put on a lot of sunblock. This has been our weekly forecast. Definitely real, not at all made up, I swear. Folks, I have horrible news. This hasn't happened before. This is the first time that this has happened since I became host of this radio show. There's been a murder. The man who has been using slingshots to hit people in the face with bananas has killed someone. It's pandemonium out there as people realize this. The city council is trying to remain calm, but it's clear they don't know what to do, and here I am, in my booth. Just me, myself, Prometheus, and one to do a dozen Venus flytraps. No, no, I'm... I can't just sit here and let this happen. I have to do something. I... I am going to go out there, and I am going to do something about this. myself. I'm Rob's new intern. Uh, my name's Jones. I never thought I'd actually be in his booth before. It's much different from what I remember. just saw me. I think that's station management. Uh, I should get out of here before I lose my pay for the day. Uh, bye! Folks, I'm back. I saw the man, and I tried to arrest him, but he punched me in the face, and I'm still feeling it. Thankfully, the man is now arrested, and I've recently learned that 
It's the same man who stole the Greens Maneater from the Greens Combination Botanical Garden and Zoo ten weeks ago. Apparently, he actually stocked up on bananas when their price was low. He'd been planning this this whole time. Thankfully, he's behind bars once again, but I'm worried that he might break out at any point in time. Who knows what might happen? Anyway, this has been the news for today. I'm gonna... I'm gonna get a nice pack. Anyway, as always, from me, to you, goodbye, good night, and good luck.